Welcome to a series of brief videos about the Colatz conjecture, also known as the 3x plus 1 problem. I'm going to approach it from a completely different direction than you will hear from mathematicians. And the basis of my argument is that the conventional statement of the conjecture multiply by 3, add 1, and divide by 2 as necessary is completely misleading. What we're dealing with here are actually three simple operations based on congruence and that we can consider only the odd ends and this function represents um, how this works. So we have an input n, a negative, uh, an odd one, and we add one to it if it's divisible by four, and we multiply by 1.5 and subtract one. Uh, and we always end with an odd number. And second case is if n minus one is divisible by eight, and multiply by 0 0.75 and add one and else the condition that captures all other cases is a multiply n minus 1 by 0 0.25. So um, what is the significance of this? It produces a very orderly table, linear table, in which the inputs are those three congruence classes and the outputs, and there's a different output for each one. Um, the congruence classes are not, uh, the output congruence classes are not actually shown here, simply a reflection of the input congruence classes. So, at this point, we can ask a rather naive question, which is actually false. Um, the question is, if no two inputs can produce the same output, or no two outputs can produce the same input, can there be a cycle? And um, just despite the um, temptation to say no, nope, how could there be? In fact, this has nothing to do with cycles directly. So um, you can see that, um, say, take the output number seven, there's an input nine, and an input 29. So that completely demolishes that notion. So what I'm going to talk about in the rest of these um, videos is really what a cycle is, what causes it, uh, why can it, why is there only one case of a non-trivial cycle for 3x plus 1, and why are there many cases of complex cycles for 3x plus m where n is greater than 1. But I will draw, yourself, draw your attention to something of a cosmic joke that, if you get it, almost explains the whole problem right away. And it's this duplicate input-output sequence for 3x plus 1 only, whereby five, output five becomes input one, and input one becomes output one. And essentially, this is a giveaway for why three x plus one is different, because the five represents a portion of a complex cycle that never completes it becomes 1, it's terminated, and then 1 is simply in an input-output state with itself. Um, it's equivalent to, it's, it, it is the trivial loop, except you don't see the even numbers here. The even numbers are 4 and 2, so it's 1, multiply by 3, add 1, 4, and then divide by 2, and then back to 1. So this is the essence of the complex loop for 